Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be running some errands. One of those includes going to a library book sale nearby. I thought that I would take you along to see what I'm doing on the Saturday and some bookish things that I might find. Hopefully they have a good sale going on, but uh, we shall see. <laughs> I ended up getting a big box of books for a dollar at the book sale. I paid a dollar for all these books and the best part was that I was coming to the library to get this book and I found it there so I don't even have to check it out. I actually did find books that I was excited about. They had a big selection and I didn't really expect it since this is a much smaller library so I came away with a lot of books and I need to go read them. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go do just that at a local coffee sandwich shop. I'm gonna try to read Watchmen which is what I'm currently reading and I should really finish because I have to return those books to the library soon. So that's it from here. See you in a little bit. So I had a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. I got a frozen lemonade. I thought that they were gonna close a little bit later. They have couches there and I was gonna sit and read but they close in like 10 minutes so I didn't want to be that guy and therefore I am leaving and going back home. Wait, too zoomed in. Here we go. Hello goats. So I wanted to show you guys the cicadas and how gross they are and how they're taking over everything. I don't know if you guys have seen it on the news, but basically they're like this brood of cicadas that come out every 17 years in the northeast United States and like West Virginia and Ohio are like the worst off and then some in Pennsylvania and Maryland as well. They're kind of taking over here. It's like the background noise to everything and if you look at any of the trees you see the big shells that they kind of come out of uh, as they come out from the ground. They live in the ground for 17 years and then they come out they make this really loud mating noise they find a partner and then they die and then 17 years later the next brood comes up so they're kind of strange creatures in general let's try to see if i can find a live one and here's one struggling on the hood of my car the garden is getting better and better all the time even the roses have started to come in I don't know if you guys remember the baby goats I showed you a lot of months ago. They are now so big. How old are you? Probably like six months old. It's like 85 degrees outside and you wouldn't really expect that because supposedly it's spring. The seasons decided to skip spring this year and now we're just directly into summer. And you get this monstrosity as a result. <laughs> Cause I know. Anyway, I will stop complaining and show you the books that I got. So the book sale uh, started on Thursday and I was kind of like, mm, that probably means I'm not going to be able to get all the good books. But everybody has different tastes and therefore I found things that I really want to read. Maybe I'll go from like smallest to biggest book. I think that's a good way to do it. So the first thing I found is Holidays on Ice by David Stairs and this is a short story collection and this one's mostly about holiday stuff so I thought it was such a cute little book that you know it'd be great for Christmas time. The next small book I got was as I Lay Dying by William Faulkner. I don't really know if I will like this, um, but I thought it is a very short classic and I would like to give it a shot. This one is, is from 1930, which is a long time ago. The next thing I will show you is Barack Obama's Dreams from My Father. I've never actually read anything by President Obama and there were multiple copies of his different books here and this one is the one that uh, intrigued me the most. I always like learning more about how people see their own race and it's in pretty good condition too, which is why I was excited for all these books. Then I got this book, The Marriage Plot, mostly because of the cover. It's really pretty. Looks like a nice painting. This is the same author, I believe, that did The Virgin Suicides. I thought, that I know the author and the cover's really nice and it did sound intriguing. It's like a 1980s love story but uses literary references um, because it has to do with a college girl that's an English major and is writing like a main paper about how a bunch of really old authors like Jane Austen and George Eliot saw marriage and romance. So it kind of maybe will be a blending of the 
those kinds of things into this new romance. And then the last three are all kind of big books. I'll leave the most exciting ones till the end, of course. Thunderstruck by Eric Larson, and I have another one of Eric Larson's um, books on my TBR. It is actually The Devil in the White City, which is the one that's talked about at the bottom here. This is still a non-fiction but kind of narrative driven. I don't really know much about it other than I know the author's name and I have heard he writes really good narrative driven non-fiction. Also because it is like new. It is in perfect condition. Next book is The President's Club and this one I have seen before and it's been talked about in some of the podcasts that I listen to but this one looks at how all of our presidents kind of have a fraternity, a brotherhood and they all kind of have each other's backs. I'm excited to see their relationships told. Maybe this will give me a better idea of how presidents see each other, the bonds that they have with each other. The next one I have had on my TBR for a little bit and I found this from a random recommendations website and I was looking for like good children's middle grade and I came across the Octavian Nothing and this one is the first book which is the Pox Party. It kind of goes into this world where there's kind of these scholars and philosophers and the boy Octavian ends up kind of starting to question the status quo and then the last sentence says, only after he dares to open a forbidden door does he learn the hideous nature of their experiments and his own chilling role in them. So, sounds really good. And then last but not least, the one that I was most excited to find, and that is Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. I wrote about this on my blog that I was really looking into more um, non-fiction and I was like, I want to read another Krakauer book. So I read his Missoula book at the beginning of the year and I really liked the way he told the story but I have heard that this one is like his best work so I thought Missoula was good and I'm even more excited about Into Thin Air. I just realized that I like completely abruptly ended this video and I didn't say goodbye. I don't know what was wrong with me so this is me saying thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye. Bye.